Viburnum. Viburnum. It's called Viburnum. This is a human berry. So, this is very special berries. My human is very sick right now. And he refused to take any pills to get better. So, what I do, I have my secret plants for my human and for myself. In Russian, this bear is called Kalina. Usually birds come and eat them, but if you're gonna be faster, you can use it as well. At home, I will show to you what I do with them. Don't worry, you're not gonna damage anybody like bush will just very grateful that you take this burden away from them here it's already broke in russia and ukraine old ladies sell this in the market were not very cheap and in Canada nobody knows shit about shit so there is plenty of uh, berries and herbs you just have uh, to know where it's not sprayed because uh, in Canada government like to use Roundup everywhere where it's possible and not possible so be careful when you're foraging something. Sometimes people ask me to pick my secret berry for them because where they live there is nothing like that around, but this is very common. I will write in description the name of this berry for you with all explanation and benefits of it. It's good when you have a cold, it helps uh, to soften their cough and uh, everything is healing in this bush, even the roots, even the bark. So I have enough here for 2-3 days and when i will need more i just i can come back or if you don't have access to it you just simply can put it in the freezer or mix it with sugar in the jar and keep it for as long as you want in the fridge of course If you are not sure about your berries, just take a picture of it and I'm gonna tell you if it's right or not. Usually it's a bush and the seed inside has a shape of heart. So anything which is not like that, do not eat it. This is my human. My cute human. Today I'm not gonna feed you. Today I would like to talk about these pretty berries called Viburnum. 
Viber na magkaroon sa all around Canada, all around United States, all around Europe, and of course all around Russia and Ukraine, and probably it goes far back to the China. This is great source of vitamin C. Actually, it's much more better to eat natural product which hold vitamin C than to take your pills because it creates the kidney stones and it's very unpleasant and painful health problem. So, Viburnum is a great berries not only because it looks pretty and has vitamin C it's um, a great source of energy and if it's the time to kill your depression this is um, a good reason to start to take viburnum as a tea for women who are uh, let's say menopausal or uh, premenstrual viburnum is uh, very good as well in ukraine it's very well known like uh, girls berries so but once i try to uh, uh, convince my mother-in-law to take uh, just to take a taste of viburnum and she was yelling at me like I tried to poison him. Actually, she said that I want to poison her, but you know, I drink tea with these berries with my husband, and uh, you know, as you can see, we're still alive. As you can see, I put my berries together with the stems because it's very healthy to use all parts of this plant. Leave it to boil for 10 minutes. <laughs> now we have to smash those berries that it would release more juice and would give us more um, good sour taste. Now don't get crazy, just smash a little bit. Be careful because it's extremely boiling hot. Cover it. Turn the heat off and leave it for 30 minutes. So, my hungry community, I will invite you for a cup of tea after 30 minutes. So this is how we fight our depression and a lack of vitamins in the beginning of the spring.
that it's not edible if you see that don't put in your mouth otherwise you're gonna have a lot of problems probably you can even die i don't know i never try this kind of thing never